Pastor Shane Holden was on the board of directors at IHOP KC until he resigned a few days ago. Speaking to the Kansas City Star about his resignation, he said he had been asked to become a board member by Stuart Greaves last November. He was respected by IHOP KC and the Advocate Group, so his role was to be the mediator. He said IHOP KC's current perspective is, we have done an independent third-party investigation and we have permanently separated from Mike Bickle. Let's move on. Let's just get on with what we need to do next. Not so fast, said Holden. To me it was painfully obvious that a mutually agreed upon third-party investigation was the path forward. And I said that if we ever get to the point where it looks like that's going to be impossible, that's when I'll have to bow out. Holden said they reached that point recently so he resigned. He said Joseph Taylor, IHOP Casey's executive director, has wanted to find a way forward in unity with the AG, but others didn't agree. I understand the perspective that the board has, he said, but for us not to do this was just too far. It just seemed like a simple way for us to put our hands in the hands of the advocate group and just show the larger body of Christ a step towards unity. This just didn't seem like a big ask to me. A very low risk for the potential of healing and unity. The advocate group realized this day could come so they found an attorney to investigate IHOP KC. Holden said, I did get to be a part of a conversation with her, and she was brilliant. I don't think anybody who was objective who had a conversation with her and heard her heart and her process would think anything other than she's the right person for this. Pastor Holden concluded by saying, the advocate group is basically going to crowdsource the investigation.